Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to use jQuery, Ajax and JSON in ASP.NET MVC. So let's start. Now I'll be adding a new class to the models folder. I am naming it as person model. So here I have added two properties, name and date time. Now I'll add a controller to the project. I am selecting the MVC controller empty option. I'll name the controller as home controller and then I'll click on add. Before beginning the video, I would like to inform you that an article has been posted on this topic. The link for the article and the code sample link are available in the description. Also, if you need any further help, please post your query on the forums. The link for the forums is also available in the description. Finally, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Here I am adding another controller for handling the jQuery Ajax call. As you can see, the return type is JSON result as we are returning a JSON object. Also, you will notice that I am accepting a parameter name and this particular parameter will be sent from the client side using jQuery Ajax. Inside the action method, I am creating an object of person model class. In the name property, I am setting the value of the name parameter and in the date time property, I am setting the current date time. Finally, I am returning the percent model class object after wrapping it inside the JSON function. Now I am decorating this particular action method with HTTP POST attribute as it will be handling the HTTP POST call. Now I am adding a view to the project. I am making use of empty without model template and I am keeping the partial view and layout options as unchecked. Now here I am creating an HTML text box which will accept the name value. Then I am creating a button and when this button is clicked the jQuery Ajax call will be made to the server side method. So now I have inherited the jQuery minified file and we'll start writing a jQuery code. So first I'm adding the document ready event holder. And inside that I'll assign a click event holder to the button. Now inside the click event holder, I am calling the jQuery Ajax function. The very first attribute is type and I am setting it as post. In the data attribute, I am setting the value of the name parameter. And the value of the name parameter is fetched from the name text box.
I am displaying the value of the name and also the value of the date time returned from the server side action method inside a JavaScript alert message box. The next event handler is to handle failure and here simply the response text is displayed in JavaScript alert message box. In similar way, I am creating an handler for handling error and here also the response text will be displayed in JavaScript alert message box. So with this we complete our programming part and now it's time to run our project and see it in action. So now I'll type in my name in the text box and I'll click on the button. As you can see my name as well as the current date time from the server is being displayed in JavaScript alert message box. With this we come to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Today we learned how to make use of jQuery, Ajax and JSON for calling controller in ESP.NET Web VC. Also, we learned how to pass parameters using jQuery Ajax to the controller. And finally, we learned how to return JSON object and receive it on client side in ESP.NET MVC. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.